Hey everybody, so I was just watching David Nino <clears throat> Rodriguez's uh, YouTube show and I have a lot of respect for David, man. He, uh, I remember back when his channel had only like 30,000 people, that's when I came across him, <laughs> excuse me, and he uh, was one of the, uh, I was just, I was amazed and I had a lot of respect for him, I still do, excuse me, because he uh, was very forthcoming with the, well, as he's shared, the facts that, as he's been told, that these, that hollywood uh values kids like the evil parts of hollywood value like child sacrifice and kids and the blood and energy and the, that whole sick fucking ritual more than gold <clears throat> like that's how <clears throat> valuable these, these these kids are to these sick fucking people is they value more than gold and um so anyways like anybody who has the, the, the gojones to share that type of information especially being a public figure like that like you know, you're essentially putting target on your fucking head so i have a lot of respect and he's you know he's a champion fucking heavyweight boxer da, 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 da. so he's obviously not one to succumb to fear <clears throat> um but anyways he had bo uh polney on i think i'm sorry if i mispronounced his name and Bo was speaking with a lot of urgency about a lot of like, you know, signs and things that are going on and da, 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 da. And I don't know about any about that. I don't know anything about that. But one thing he said is that he was imploring people to say that like, we need a miracle from Jesus. Like we need God to come down here and, and essentially solve all of our problems. We need some type of Red Sea miracle type thing. We need like, he was keep like the thing that got me that I feel differently about is that he was essentially pleading that we need help from above. And it's like, well, yeah, that would be great. That would be lovely. And I'm not denying that, <laughs> but I disagree. I think we need to actually be more like Jesus. That's the key is like enough of us are not acting like Yahushua. Like we're kind of failing our duties here in a lot of sense. This is why I've been such a proponent for speaking for starving children, taking care of the planet, taking care of the animals, fighting it back against these corrupt fucking agencies and, and child trafficking rings and drug trafficking rings and all this evil shit. Like that's what we all collectively need to do in order to like raise the vibrations to such a high enough level that allows us to get the help from above. But again, this this criteria, this notion, this this pattern of information that continues to be spread, especially amongst Christians, that we need to just sit here and wait and pray when there's literally children starving to death every single day is just wrong to me. And it's sad, too, because I think it's exactly what the enemy wants us to do. And it's like I see so many of these good Christians falling along with exactly what the enemy wants them to do, which is essentially nothing but pray. And I'm not saying praying isn't good. It's okay. it's good to pray. It's really good to pray. But just that's not it. That Love is in action. So like praying, yes. Okay, sitting here and praying for children to receive food and all these types of things is good. But if it was truly working, then children wouldn't be dying. Children are still dying every single day from not having enough food. Okay, so the prayers are not enough. More is required in order to put food into their mouths. So that's one thing that I feel we all need to spend more time doing is spending time speaking and solving these type of issues. The planet, the animals, the forests, ourselves, this corrupt environment, like all of it is just way too, we, we've become too selfish collectively. And it's like, instead of like, you know, praying for God to come down and help us, like maybe God wants us to help ourselves. Y'all ever think about that? The hemp plant, again, another plant that is not, it's in Genesis 9-3, even as the green herb, if I've given you all things. It's right there in the beginning of your book, man. And nobody talks about the hemp plant. Like, you don't think God cares about how we treat this planet, his planet? Like, we treat it like our own shit, and we shit all over it. And it's like, okay, you don't think that affects him? We've been given this beautiful planet with all these beautiful plants and animals and things, and we've largely fucked it all up. And we're not even really taking, like, people aren't talking about this. Like, they're talking about corruption and child trafficking and the economy, which is good. We need to talk about that. But we also need to talk about this fucked up planet and all these fucked up industries and how this one plant can reverse it all. And how people still don't want to talk about it. And I think one of the reasons why it's really sad is people are afraid to lose views. And it's like, what would Jesus do? Do you think he would be afraid to lose views on a social media over, like is he gonna let that take sway over him over speaking the right thing speaking the good thing speaking the thing that can help everybody and everything no he 
he's not going to be afraid of losing views on YouTube. He's going to do the right fucking thing, no matter what. No matter if he is famous or if he's not famous. He's going to do what's right in his heart because that's the right thing to fucking do. And that's what you do when you really align yourself with goodness is you do the right thing, no matter what. No matter the consequences. Do you think somebody who was able to put it... I mean, if you believe the cross story, do you think somebody who was able to go along the volunteer, because he volunteered, like he could have fought back, he could have tried to escape, there's a lot of different things he could have done that would have deterred his his destiny, but he chose to, to go there and to put himself in that pain, that sacrifice is a voluntary thing, he chose that without caring about his own well-being, and we have people here on the internet preaching the word, but they're afraid to fucking lose views, I'm just being real with you guys, man. You guys got to look at it from this type of perspective because we're really failing in a lot of ways and it's not anybody else's fault but our own. So I implore you, please do more for the kids. Do more for others. Be less selfish. Share more goodness. Share more love. Talk about the hemp plant or figure something else out. There's a lot of plants. If you have something against the hemp plant, pick something else. There's plenty. Mushrooms do a lot of beautiful things. Like, Just do something good for others. That's what we need more of. That's what's going to save us. It's being less selfish. So, all right. I love you guys. Y'all take care. Bye.